Oh, there it is. There, there we go. Okay. Let me know if you can hear. Oh, gosh. Look, look at this. Ooh, so exciting. Can you hear that? Who was that? I didn't look. <laughs> Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. The Flower Kingdom. Do you Mario hear this? You and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. Do you all hear this? It's ba Dude, look at Bowser. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Do we hear this? Louder. Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. That should be good, right? Look at this. Dude, this game is actually scary. This looks terrifying. Bowser Jr. still there. Kamek's still there. I want to know what that character is. I don't know what that thing is. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Dude, why are they making now, it so scary? It's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser. And Who are those toad-looking things? Oh, there's all Yoshi's and Nabbit. Nabbit too. Is he good now? Mario Direct. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Yeah. Let's jump in. The Flower Kingdom. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas. Seven to worlds. Really? Only seven? It's, 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 it's only eight. Among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. It's only eight, you know? Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll Dude, be this game looks hard. In Fluff Puff Peaks. Look at this! You can only stand on that for like three jumps. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Dog, Traverse does this not look hard? Islands. Okay, Dive I'm scared. Petal sea. Isles. And I should move this way because you're like missing the things. Heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There we go. There's also an I should move over here. With white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. Does this not look... Move around the map in each world to select a course. I do like how you can move around like that, though. Similar to, like, 3D you world, you know? You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them okay. in any order you like. So it's like 3D World, but you Once do need you to play do the course. You can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. That's it's that's an easy neat. way to find the ones you want to play again. That's neat. It's neat. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Those are get so weird. And onward and upward. Those are. How do you get up here? What a pretty sunset. That's kind of cool. Talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? Okay, character. Okay, can we hear some of the voices here? Besides Mario, you can also play as Blue Toad. Luigi. Peach. Okay. Daisy. I like how One, they all look toads. though. It's a and Toadette. I was hesitant about they the art style. The same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. They all play the same. I was hesitant about the, the Yoshis art style. And Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're oh. a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. So they're just invincible. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if okay. they fall down a pit. So they're so not invincible. Watch your step. Okay. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. So that's like your peaceful experience. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Oh, here we go. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Hoppy cats. That's actually creative, you know. Jumping Melon when you jump. Plants will spit seeds from their mouths. I, I don't mind that. That's kind of cool, too. Con darts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. Con darts. Okay. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Conks? 
Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just Mumsies. right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. Dude, it's, it's like all new enemies. I like there that one, though. There are more new enemies for you to discover as well. That's, dude, they're Goombas. getting creative. Koopa Troopas, Poos, Locky Twos, and other familiar foes are also here. Okay. I like the new enemies, you know? Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. Whoa, wait, hold on. In what is the one on, on the left? Make the most of your nose. Elephant. Your size. So are they all elephants? your trunk are to they attack enemies. Are they all elephants? Destroy blocks. And even do this. Oh, look at that! In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? He's if you walking water in your trunk on and air. It out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? It is. It's not just okay, Mario, so everyone's an elephant. Okay, there we go. Confirmed. The toads. Everyone's an elephant. Oh my gosh, look at Toad Elephant. Oh, this Peach, is great. Daisy and <laughs> have elephant look at Peach well. Elephant. The bubble form okay, allows you to bubble? blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. You're like invincible. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. How do you, you lose in this game? Enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them, like platforms. Nice. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Just like that. While in drill form, you'll drill? get a you can drill? nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky, spiky. or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. Dude, this, it also allows you this to is great. and move through the ground. In a tough spot, dig away. Fantastic. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Whoa! I wasn't expecting company. I'm sold. Plus, the classic fire flower makes back. a return. Is the ice back? Obviously, it wouldn't make sense for the fire to be back and not oh, the ice you can flower. Hang on to an extra power up. Okay, so In it's pinch, like the feature from 3D World. They're adding everything. This this is nice. Or Daisy or Elephant does, does not sit right with situation. me. Item balloon. Wonder. Yeah, okay. What is a wonder seed, dude? This That's what I've been curious a wonder about. Flower, wonder flower. A plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power. Is that like a star coin? When in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, it all changes. A wonder effect will trigger, causing some oh, interesting changes. Oh, and everyone gets all changes. hyped up. Oh yeah, they showed it in the trailer. I, I forgot about that. They a showed stampede it. of enemies can appear. The terrain may tilt. Dude, there's so many random twists you and can turns. End up in a free fall. I kind of like it. Bubbles might uh bubble up. Your perspective can what change. What the heck? Oh, that's that's kind of fun though. Or you might float through space. It's like top down. There are even wonders where your character transforms. What does that mean? Mario might become Dude. a Goomba. A Goomba. Dude, good luck to anybody trying to or a freaking 100% this game. Imagine or trying to get up like a balloon. every single coin. When you touch a wonder flower, you're done for. Always expect the unexpected. Fat Mar Dude, that's a meme Collect right a there. Seed and the course will return to normal. Okay. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. This game is like you're gonna you rage while a playing. Wonder seed is thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. A poplin. That's what that's called. Okay. Badges. You can get badges your now. Your adventure progresses. Oh, thankfully the unlock in-game badges the, that change up the way you play when equipped. The toads give you something useful. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Dude, this is everything that a new Slow Mario Bros. should have been. The parachute cap badge. Parachute cap. So that's Enhance what Luigi your was wall doing. Wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Wall jump. 
Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. Dolphin kick? You can also break underwater blocks. That's cool. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching oh. high jump badge. Dude, you can do Shoot everything. Shoot in midair and stick to walls with the grappling vine badge. Grappling vine? Recover from dangerous drops oh, instantly with the safety bounce badge. So you you truly Easily are invincible. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. So that's like the Pikmin scent. Draw in nearby Mula with the coin magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. So what if you have all of these? You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. You're just unstoppable. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. This Only is like one cheating. Badge can be equipped per course. Okay, okay, it that makes sense. From the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge. Only one and badge. Try again. One badge per course. Some badges that can be sense. earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it. While others can be purchased from poplin shops on the world map. Poplin shops. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. So poplins have replaced toads. Play together. Oh, so, okay, so here's online play info. Here's online play. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the can adventure we get online together. Play? Dude, that looks so weird. If I can't. If is defeated in local co-op, their I... character will float around the course as a ghost. What can the if ghost do? If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. You have to get them your group won't the... lose a life either. Okay, and that's cool. Just so you know. If someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back Sick. and ride them around the course. Sick. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi, or if you're an elephant. Oh my god. I, dude, Yoshi's been, been, been doing, been in the gym. Carry the dang elephant if you online play. Online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. That is the coolest thing in the world. No These way! Are from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Shut up! That's Just so like cool. Local co-op. If you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. You can see other people play at the exact same Players time as you. That's greetings. sick. And share in-game items, even though <laughs> you won't be playing together directly. You'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. So it's almost like checkpoints? That's you can so sick. Standee surprises from the poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These I points love show how this. much they've helped other players on their adventure. I've always wanted some Reviving like live ghosts, gifting items. Like live interaction with like strangers. Reaching that sounds bad. Together and more will earn you heart points. But that's so good. I love that. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. Uh -huh. That's so In cool. In a shared room, you can see which oh courses my. your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Game of the year. I'm kidding. Close, though. Then make a run for it. Dude, what can't you do? Who's better than you? Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed. It's like Club Penguin, yeah. Boss instead. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races. You can enhance your experience with online play. That's the coolest thing in the world. What a beautiful okay, day. it's 1014. Show me the OLED now. Here's their final final gameplay stuff. Show me the OLED. Show me the show me the OLED. This dude, this is the fact that you can like see the other players in real time. Like, like the strangers, I'm saying, is like so cool. Like all in the lobby or all in the level. I'm doing that for every single level. Unless it gets kind of annoying. Look at that, that's that's the castle. 
That's difficult, you know? Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends Whoa. when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Show me the Switch OLED. system October 20th. Show me the OLED, Plus, dude. A new Nintendo Switch OLED model. Oh, uh, yeah, you could have made it look better. On the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. Okay, well, I'm buying it. The Nintendo Switch OLED October 6th. model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. Do I want that or do I, do I want do I want the Splatoon one? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well I'm I'm probably gonna buy the Mario Red one. I'll do that. That's that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I don't know. I I wish it was more than just red. I'm trying to decide now if I if I want that. I mean, I, I promised you all, but, like, it, it is a little hideous. I mean, okay. I, I love the red dock. I love the red dock. Get Splatoon. Get Splatoon. Yeah, people are saying get Splatoon. Because, like, like, for me, I, I don't even own any OLED yet. I want the Splatoon one or whatever this was going to be. And between those two... It's pretty hard not to pick the Splatoon one. But I told you that I'd buy this one. I didn't think it'd be all red. I thought it would have, like, some, you know, cool little freaking Mario stuff on it. You have a little Mario silhouette on on the back left corner. Who's, who's going to see that? <laughs> and then coins in the actual box. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's not bad. But you'll probably catch me with the Splatoon one. Dude, the Splatoon one ha has, like, the yellow and purple, like, gradients and all the icons and and, and, and the splat on the dock. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm buying that one. Or get both? No way. <laughs> I can't have both. Yeah, I'll figure that out. Yeah, let me do a poll. Good idea. Poll in the chat, Splatoon or Mario OLED. And I'm going to do whatever you say since I promised you all. Mario or, Sp or no, Splatoon or Mario OLED. That, that's psychology. Splatoon or Mario. I don't know. Let's find out. But otherwise, apart from, you know, the OLED, which we're all focusing on because it was a big part for me, trailer was was was, was good. Or the direct was good. I thought it was really good. I just kind of worry that, you know, it's... Dude, the game looks... Does it not look a little, like, hard? Like, look at this. Okay, so you're, you're, you're swinging vine to vine. That's pretty fine. That's that's fine. There was one scene, though, that looked incredibly difficult. Not even, like... I mean, like, even, like, that could be hard. You know, like, bouncing on this thing. Look, you are as small as a pot, and you're bouncing on random... You know, things are falling down... You, you you gotta time up how perfectly these things are. That's that's fine right there. What a view! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Easter egg. Not even really an Easter egg. That was Captain Toad. Look, Captain Toad is right here. I didn't even realize that on the first try, or first 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 look. Captain Toad is here. Doesn't look. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call it hard. Like by no means is it like as hard as you know. Even they just died right there. It's not you know crazy. Crazy difficult, even the, bro, even they're dying while shooting these trailers. Um, but it just looks harder than any other Mario game. I will say that. Uh, like this is what I was talking about. This thing right here. Like, imagine, imagine trying to sneak all four players through that. Like someone's gonna die. Like this is not safe. Uh, it's it's not it's not like I'm, I'm not gonna buy the game. I'm just saying like, uh, it's just different. It's harder than any other Mario Bros. Mario. game in my opinion. And uh, dude, this doc is not... Dude, Mario is winning the poll. Dang it. Oh, hold on, wait, hold on. I didn't realize. The back is red. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to have to decide because I don't know... I didn't know that, that, that the back was red. That's kind of cool. Everything's red. Some hidden coins. The Maybe. Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October... I got to decide soon, though, because... It's probably gonna, gonna go on pre-order if it's not already, like today. Can I can I look 
is it is it uh, is it available for pre-order not yet okay because it, it, it goes like quick it, like it, it goes fast yeah i'll have to decide this is not what i expected it's it's just not what i expected like red on a red doesn't even like look amazing you know it's 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 not i don't know that's all right get the luigi one dude if they made a, a luigi one i might go for that but they but they didn't but it's just mario red which is fine. People are gonna like it. I just don't know if if that's for me. That or Splatoon. Like I think that Splatoon one's better. But you know we're all Mario hype, so I think mostly the poll is Mar is uh for Mario. Yeah. Otherwise, dude, there's nothing cooler to me than the freaking online play. Where is that? We're we're we're, we're in it here. The it's fact that you can and I'm, I'm not trying to like you know kill time. I, I want to go through this. The fact that you can, like, see players' shadows while you're literally in a level, I've wanted something like that for years. I had said an, a random little idea for Animal Crossing is to make, like, a like a trading, like, like a lobby and be able to, like, see other players' shadows. Now, with Animal Crossing, that can be a, a bit harder, takes more power, but, like, this is just as good as that. I just, for some reason, like, just, like, seeing what other people are doing and, like, seeing, like, am I the only one, like, messing up here? And even, like, if you're stuck, at, at, you know, in a level, just like in local you can, if you know, defeated, see you how someone else did a certain part. A and you can run into them, get, get revived. I'm players playing online every second unless it gets, like, kind of annoying. Shadow. Unless it's annoying, that's what we are doing. Players can send greetings... Look, bro, you can send happy faces. And share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. That's so smart. You can also place a standee in a course. Perfect. I'm not even gonna... Dude, that's just like... That... It couldn't have gone any better. So we did get the... Uh, we did not get the Charles Martinet and Miyamoto video. I didn't expect that. Um, but in case you were looking for that, well, sorry to let you down. You didn't. You you, you didn't get it. I bet you it'll be on the game's release date. Because even if you look at like what they did with uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, uh, the two developers, AGL Numa and the other guy, I forget his name, um, <laughs> they put out a video on launch date. It was like, thank you for your support. Enjoy the game. So uh, it'll probably release then. That's that's what I would guess. That that's that's what I would think. Uh, but yeah, online play is great. Characters are great. I like everything that I saw. Nothing to complain about. Nothing I didn't like in there. And yeah, I believe that is all we have to unpack here. It was it was good. It was it was really good. I want to know in the chat what would you rate the direct? What would you rate the direct today? Let me know in the chat. Out of ten, I'm gonna put a poll too. Out of ten, what do you what do you give it? Uh, let's lower the, lower the lower the music. Uh, put on forty. Out of 10, let's put a poll. What would you rate the direct? 1 to 3 out of 10. 4 to 6 out of 10. 7 to 8 out of 10. Oh, no, 7 to 9. 7 to 9 out of 10. Or 10 out of 10. There we go. Vote in the chat. I want to know what you think. <laughs> 7 out of 10, 10, 10 out of 10, except for the Switch. 9, 9 out of 10 direct. 10 to plain. I think, dude, there's like so many twists and turns. I think this game just cannot be bad. It'd be very hard for it to be bad. Mm -hmm. 9.5, 10, 9.7. Okay, now tell me this. Because majority of, of, of the vote in the poll is 7 to 9 out of 10. And whoever put 1 to 3, I'm not sure what you were looking for. Um, Let me know now in the chat what you would rate the OLED. What do you rate the red OLED? And I'll bring it back up on, on screen if you want a reminder. Here it is. This is it right here. Uh, Literally all... It's... If you took a bucket of paint and you dropped it on your Switch, this is what it looks like. There's a little Mario... Like... You couldn't put that on the front of the dock. Come on. Come on. 
Like, dude, no one's gonna see that. No one would ever see that. No one's gonna see that either. I mean, it's cool. I, I don't know. 7 for the OLED. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 2 out of 10. 3 out of 10. Like, it's, it's cool. I think, yes, that is a cool OLED. But for my $300 or whatever, like, do I want to put it on this? Probably not. I don't know. I gotta decide, man. Such a weird decision. Who just wants an all red switch? Yeah, it's just a red switch. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like, those should be in front. Like, the, the, the silhouette and the coins should be on the front of the dock. I will say, though, they don't do this often. I do like how the... Can I rewind? I do like how the... Everything is red. Backplate, um, volume buttons, game card. That's all good. I like that. But yeah, I just don't know if that's for me. I like this the Splatoon one better. Is kickstand red? It must be, because the whole thing back here is red. If if the game card is red, the kickstand has to be. Uh, are there any more, like, pictures of it? Sometimes on Twitter, there's, like, more pictures afterwards. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, look, the Mario is already up for pre-order. Guys, okay. So I can't tell if the, if the back plate's red. So that's what it looks like. Let's let's go, let's go here. This is what this is what like the box looks like. Does this do anything for you? Are you getting you know further convinced? I don't know. It's up for pre-order now. Three hundred fifty bucks. I was always told if you don't love it, don't buy it, and I can't tell you that I love this thing. I promised you. I would buy it, unless it's, unless it is hideous, and there's just no design. <laughs> Everything designed is is on the back. Not to be like a negative Nancy. I I, I just like, do I want to spend money on this? I, I I I don't know. Honestly, if you just like buy buy the dock, you can make this. A few Joy-Con swaps, a few you know a Switch back backplate swap, and then just buy the dock. You can make this thing. I, I I just don't know that I'm gonna do this. Anyways, I'm not gonna go on and on and on and on about it. That's that. Splatoon one is good. You can you can tell it is Splatoon by looking at it. This is just red. Anyways, not to be negative once again. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in to the direct with me on this stream. It was much fun. Let me know. Put a put put a one in the chat if you plan on buying the OLED or want to buy it or anything like that i want to know with that thank you all so much for tuning in let's promote some links in the chat because why not follow up with me on discord a discord link is in the chat you can check out the second channel that gets posted on as well you can check out twitter is a good link or x now is it twitter or x like what are what are we calling it now um but yeah all the links are in the chat all, all the all the cool links and there's a demo Hold on. There is no demo, right? Someone's trolling. Okay. Maybe there's there's a demo. I don't know. But as of right now, we 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 don't know that. I'll see you all tomorrow. No, Saturday for the podcast. I'm gonna record it tomorrow and see you all today for your YouTube shorts. Adios.